High school classes are underway. Guidance counselors are here to help anyone who needs someone to talk to as this student body really mourns together over the loss of 16 year old Aubrey Peters. Aubrey was at a friend's house last night. Officers responded there on reports of someone being shot. When they got inside, they found a few people and Aubrey unresponsive with a gunshot wound to her chest. She did not survive that injury. And after officers took some time to talk to people who had been in the home during the shooting, they did make an arrest of uh, the man who lives in that home. One of Aubrey's friends, actually, uh, a 20 year old man who had previously gone to Noblesville High School, making this news and this day just extremely difficult for here. We have um, guidance counselors that are available and are, who are currently meeting with uh, several students around the building. We are also in um, Aubrey's first block class. Uh, we talked to that teacher this morning and um, we have guidance counselors in that classroom that are, are currently coping um, with this tragedy. And we also have a, a, a several teachers who are upset this morning and they are also meet, meeting with uh, guidance counselors too. Officers arrested 20 year old Jacob McDaniel. His charges felony charges of criminal recklessness and pointing a firearm. And the initial reports were that this was all an accident, but there was enough evidence to make this a criminal accident if it was that. And he has been booked into the jail here. Now, Aubrey Peters is someone we know about. The community kind of knew about her a couple years ago when she was awarded for being a hero after helping two young girls who'd fallen into Morse Reservoir. Those two young girls survived thanks to Aubrey's actions, so the Red Cross gave her an award. Reporting live this morning in Noblesville, Vanessa McClure, Fox 59 News. Vanessa, thank you for that. And also new this morning, Greenwood Police arrest a hit-and-run driver. Police say Derek Mead